DocuCon 2016 at the Couchbase booth. And I'm here with uh, Aran Gupta, who's going to talk to us a little bit about the company and what they're showing here at DockerCon. Absolutely. Yeah, hi, my name is Arun Gupta. I'm the VP for Developer Advocacy at Couchbase. Couchbase is a NoSQL document distributed database. You, know, um, you can store your JSON documents natively in Couchbase, and you can query upon them using SQL-like language, which we call as Nickel. Couchbase also has a mobile database, which can be stored in your databases, in your mobile applications, which can then be very easily synchronized with your backend Couchbase running in the data center or in the cloud or as a Docker container. So those are hard problems to solve. We've always we have already solved them using Couchbase Mobile, Sync Gateway, and Couchbase Server together. So that's sort of the cool part of what Couchbase is very well known for. Great. And uh, do you have a demo that you could show us? Yeah, absolutely. So this morning, you know, Couchbase 4.5 was announced, and as part of that announcement, we showed how easy it is to run Couchbase uh, as a Docker container. Um, so the demo that we're showing is setting up a Couchbase cluster in a Docker in a, in a, <clears throat> uh, as a, in a bunch of Docker containers. Uh, with Couchbase 4.5, we actually offer commercial support for it as well. And you may wonder why is it really relevant to run Couchbase database as a Docker container. Well, the idea is the whole concept of Docker really gives you the density. Instead of running one Couchbase container in a VM, you can run many Couchbase containers, and then literally that gives you very good scalability. So the demo will basically show you how easy it is to run a Couchbase cluster as a bunch of Docker containers, and how beautifully you can manage all of that using Couchbase Web Console. Great, I'd love to see it. All right, let's take a look. So what are we uh, looking at here? Yeah, so here what we have done is we have set up a Docker Swarm cluster, which is basically a bunch of Docker hosts. It's a multi-host Docker with support for full clustering and networking and all those things. And on that Docker Swarm cluster, we're running a Couchbase cluster. So it's a very nice fit in that sense. You know, you're running you know, a bunch of Docker Swarm clusters. Here it is running locally using all Docker machines, but it will be very easily portable to Amazon or Azure or any other cloud providers very easily as well. So what you see here is the Couchbase web console. In the Couchbase web console, you know, this is the very top page. So let's take a look at, say, server nodes, for example. You can see there are three nodes in here. Each node, you can say exactly what services are running. It's a document database. In a database, you need data, index, and query service. So you can see those three services are running over here. The Couchbase web console also gives you the RAM usage, the swap usage, the CPU usage, all those simple features that you typically need for a database. Now, if I look at the pending rebalance, if I were to scale up this cluster, I'll basically add another Docker Swarm cluster node, and I'll say scale up my cluster, and simply add that Couchbase node, which is running on a Docker Swarm cluster, to this. And then you will see a new server that will show up over here, and then you will just rebalance. So it's a two-step process. First is you add a physical Couchbase node to the cluster, and then you rebalance the cluster so that the data in the cluster is rebalanced. Because unlike other doc data document databases, here is auto-sharded. So the user don't have to worry about, oh, where am I going to pick the data? So you access it, it's directly available to you. So I think it's a very nice fit in that sense for a Couchbase cluster to sit on a Docker Swarm cluster. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to uh, speak with VM Blog, and we hope you have a great show. Thank you. I mean, have a good one as well.